I'm talking to you here tonight, you wonderful men and women who practice the small C, the conscious communion connection C, or you wouldn't be here. You came out to widen your, your spirit. If you really pay attention, your small acts can open up many rituals and possibilities. Taking your children to school, kissing your husband goodbye, eating lunch with a friend and giving them a generous, giving the waitress a generous tip, trying to do a decent day's job, hearing the rain on the window pane and being grateful for it, picking up the dry cleaning. No event is so commonplace but that God is present in it. I'll share a few of my little C's just to show you how little they can be, but you will develop your own. One thing I do when I'm rushed, frenetic, anxious, somehow I get the grace to stop. I put my hands under my chin and I become present to God. And I hear, be still and know that I am God, the song and I'm calmed. Usually that happens to me in the kitchen. I don't know, I was like rushing to get the done. The clock, Jim and I have a new technique, you know, with a digital clock. You know how it says three, 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 four, 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 11, 11, that's the big one. Well, we think, oh, oh, God's around. Be not afraid, he's there. Just little tricks to help us. In the convent, we used to have a bell. Let us remember the presence of God. We adore his divine majesty. But you can do that on your own. You can do what you need. And when people say, how are you? I've learned to say instead of fine, I say, I'm content. Things are, things are fine. I want the world to know that not everybody is doom and gloom <laughs> and that we don't all have to, you know, take them down to the grave. And one thing for our money, and you may not agree with this, but this is our choice. Jim and I, after studying the way Walmart treats its employees, we never shop at Walmart. For us, this is not God's way. Remember Leandra, the little girl? She kept asking that question, just who do you think you are? She let money talk to her. You might know her daughter. Her daughter's name is Jewel, the singer, and they are making tons of money. And what Leandra does now has become a philanthropist. She gives away 60% of that income. And has it diminished? It keeps growing. That's the way God works. In the last analysis, dear friends, all moments of everything that we do are key moments. The little C moments. Using your money. Moments when you volunteer, when we volunteer. Moments when you speak out against unfairness. Or moments when, you, when what you do is quite simple which is to smile at someone. And now in this moment, I offer you my final Alleluia. Alleluia. Namaste, thank you. We have time for a question and answer period. Great, I Does love. Anybody have any questions? And anybody have any answers? <laughs> That's a good one. Or comments. You don't. Jim? That's my Jim. Come here. Oh, thank you. Jim, come here. Come here. Let me adore you. In front of the group. He came on. He has taught me, so I can't tell you. 14 wonderful, amazing years. And what did you sign? Look at he put the bomb. We have another. It's marketing. What can I tell you? <laughs> Where's the book? Where's the oh, other yeah. book? Oh, you, you well, we have a new book coming out. It's not published yet called The Nun and the Bomb. <laughs> it sort of works together poetically, but it's not something I like to, you know, we still haven't given Bum. Now, I'm going to say something. Okay. But quickly. This will. Huh? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh. Want to hear a poem? No, no, no. Sorry. This woman is like this all the time. She wakes me up in the morning like this. Thank you, you, honey. Thank you.